Yeah, good day everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to go ahead and thank my my brothers and sisters, uh, members of the People's Freedom Movement, hashtag enough is enough. I want to thank you for overwhelmed support that everyone have been giving me. Uh, I want to thank our brother in Nigeria, in, um, most especially in Benin City, who have been concerned about my safety. However, I am out today to call on the governor of Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseki. It's been 24 hours that I've called on Governor Obaseki to come out and take the leadership of Edo State and act like a man and behave like a man as he once stated to me that anyone who issue a threat to anyone in the state will be subject to arrest. And Governor Obaseki have, have implemented that uh, rules. He categorically said that because this Kotisubo issued a threat letter to some of the oil companies, that is why he ordered for, for his arrest. So I'm calling on Governor Obaseki to order for Tony Kabaka arrest. If he know he has no hand in this assassination plan. I am happy. I want everyone to thank my God Almighty and thank my late father, who is the heaven looking over me, for making Tony Kabaka to expose himself and order his accomplices, including the commissioner of police, of the assassination plan against me. I am calling on the Do State House of Assembly to immediately intervene into this issue. If you think by so-called proclaimed blood soccer vampire leader squad who Governor Obaseki have subject himself to be using to be silent and indigent and political opponent uh, to call his leadership to question and order Governor Obaseki to call on the corrupt commissioner to investigate Tony Kabaka a.k.a. Saddam Hussein of Benin. However, I am here, I am a man that no one cannot silence. I am a man who does not fear bullying. I am a man who does not believe when someone bug or crawl, the bat will go on his head. Tony Kabaka, a.k.a. Saddam Hussein of Benin, have bored and, and crawl. All is left for him is to bite. And he's not going to bite me. He will bite himself by special grace of God. However, I am calling on the Federal, uh, Federal Nigerian Police Force in Abuja to intervene. I do not want this, this investigation to be conducted in a do state. I am calling on Abuja on the IG to go ahead and open an investigation on this so-called uh, vampire leader. That the do state... Governor, Governor Obaseki, who have condescended low to the extent, instead of Governor Obaseki to use the Nigerian Police Commissioner to enforce the law of the state, he took it upon himself and personally violated the rule and used a vampire leader. There's video around the internet where Tony Kabaka himself confessed all the plans to assassinate me. So far, Nigerian government are silent. Edo government are silent. The Edo leaders are silent. I am not surprised because I know some of them are afraid. But I want to let everyone know, it might have to die one time than for you to continue to die internally. Those who know the pain of a jail does not threaten anyone with jail. If Governor Obaseki can continue to practice his oppression leader, and use his law enforcement agency to be specific Nigerian police in Edo State Command to be threatening and be arousing the Edo boys, I am disappointed if Governor Obaseki will not be man enough to come out as a governor and condemn whatever plan he has with Tony Kabaka. I am calling on you, Governor Obaseki. If you know you do not involve in this assassination plan with Tony Kabaka, I am giving you within 24 hours to 48 hours 
to come out and notify the public, hold a press conference, like I've advised you previously, you have to quench fire before you light up in your own house. I have no other way to fight for my right than to use a legal way to fight for my right. However, I understand you once lived in the United States, maybe one time a green card holder. And I will call the question, I will call Tony Visa to question. I am going to call on the State Department to personally investigate the governor of Edo State and uh, Tony Kabaka and the commissioner of police. These are the two members Tony Kabaka have involved. It does not mean that there are no other members. But however, if you are one of this vampire group who Governor Obaseki is using to silence every individual, I want you to deviate from that group with immediate effect. If you have involved in any killing, any murder in a do state, I will advise you if you don't if you do not want my case to draw you into a problem, I want you to denounce the so-called blood sucker vampire, Tony Kabaka. If you know that you have involved in any petty crime, you do not want my case to bring attention to you. Stop moving with Tony Kabaka. Any moment from now, I will go ahead and file an adequate document. I understand Tony Kabaka have a property in the United States, which I have obtained all the information. Any one government official, Tony Kabaka stated on his, on his video that he have worked for the governor Obaseki. He have worked for him. It's time for him to rape what he saw. I am calling on governor Obaseki to come to the public and let us know the kind of job when Tony was hired, how the paycheck, how he get monthly salary, how he have not unable to pay Tony Kabaka. If it is legal work, he should make it public to us. If it is illegal work, Governor Obaseki should make it public to us. I am appealing to all APC governor in Nigeria. I do not want you all to conflict this issue to become a two political party. I am not a PDP member. I am not an APC member. I have every, every right to join any political party. I have helped APC. I have helped PDP. However, if you have the best interest of Nigeria, you have the best interest of Governor Obaseki, I want you to call upon him to come and clear himself. Let him clear himself and let us know that he's not, uh, uh, he's not involved in this assassination plan, including the Commissioner of Police, Commissioner uh, Abuka. However, my brothers and sisters all over the world, I have notified again this morning, I spoke with the FBI uh, for a couple of minutes, and I'll be advised to follow the adequate, proper way. If you know Governor Obaseki, his school in New York, if you are one of his friends, I do not want you to be calling me when after I file a legal paper. I want you to call on Obaseki to come out to the public. If he has nothing to hide, why is he not speaking? I'm asking you, Governor Obaseki, if you know Tony Kabaka have not been a hitman to you, why are you running away from the media? Why are you not speaking? If you can speak with all your, all your company, you speak for, for police commissioner who is terrorizing the Benin youth, why can't you come out and speak for every Edo indigenous? I am a citizen of Edo state. If you cannot speak on my case, that means you have something to hide. Let me tell you, you don't have a good advisor. I think you are smart, but common sense is not common. If you know what is right for you, when you have an allegation leveled against you, like Tony Kabaka have did, it is your duty to come out and clear yourself, instead of trying to wait for the story to die down. Let me advise you, Governor Obaseki. I have no personal problem with you. I am telling you to come out and clear your name. If you know Tony Kabaka, a.k.a. Saddam Hussein of Benin, the vampire blood sucker. I want you to come out and denounce and have an order for his arrest awaiting investigation. If you cannot do that, call on the Federal uh, Police Department in Abuja, Nigeria Police Force, and call on them to conduct a proper investigation against the Commissioner of Police in Edo State and Tony Kabaka. If you know you are involved in it, I'm advising you to call an independent investigation. Let me tell you, no one bully me. Like I always say, I am a tiger and a lion. Combined together, make me a mega comrade. However, I am not afraid of anyone. 
But one thing I want to let you know. If you are involved with a uh, those state governor, I don't care. I want to appeal to you. You are a father. You are a mother. The way you the rich people, the so-called politician gangster, who have used our thugs, the vampire members, to uh, unleash them on us with the poor and unfortunate children, I want you to know the way you value your children, likewise the way the poor, poor people value their children. The way you, the rich woman, gave birth to yours, that is how the poor woman gave birth to ours. The way you, the rich man, gave birth to your children, the same way my father gave birth to me. If I cannot threaten your children and go free, I see no reason why Governor Obasekitus will sit and hide behind his governor mansion. If you are not a, if you are not a coward, why can't you come out and speak like a man? Except if you are a governor who does not know his right, who is a coward, who is scared of Tony Kabaka, you come out and denounce Tony Kabaka. Let Edo people know that you are not, you are not a part of this plan. As stated at Tony Kabaka video, he, stayed, he said that because I insulted the governor and I insulted the commissioner of police, that is why he will vampire me and he will suck my blood. That is a number one evidence. And he also called me on the phone and personally told me that he's going to personally use his gun to kill me. I want Tony to know, I never planned anything evil for you, but you have planned evil to me. This is the beginning of the destroy of your empire. If you belong to Tony Group, I want you to be free. I am a freedom fighter. I want you to pack your bag and bag it and leave Tony. Let Tony face the consequences of his action. Let me tell you, Tony has been a murderer. He has been a gangster. He called himself a vampire. I researched the meaning of a vampire. A vampire are those who, who feed on dead body, anything you call it. If Tony have not committed any crime, why would he proclaim himself to be a vampire blood sucker? That is number one evidence. The commissioner of police, shameless commissioner, whatever they call him, Abuka or whatever they call him, the Edo State Police Commissioner, you have single-handedly destroyed the Edo State Police Command. You have single-handedly corrupt every police officer, almost all of them in Edo State. You should be ashamed of yourself, the way you protect your children. She so you will expect others will protect their children. I have a father like you. I don't think my father will be will be happy seeing you threatening, making an arrangement how to forge an allegation on me. I have gathered an information instead of Governor Obaseki to enforce the law as the executive governor of a do state. He is there busy telling the commissioner of police how to frame a case on me, how they can get out of this case. You have no way out, Governor Obaseki. Let me tell you, the only way out you have is for you not to come to the United States. Don't go to Europe. Because I am going to file a criminal case against you and the commissioner of police in Edo State, Anthony Kabaka, a.k.a. Blood Soccer, Saddam Hussein. However, all the governor's friends, who happens to be my friend, I share your sympathy. As you all know, some of you are in diaspora. I want everyone in Edo State to understand and Nigeria as well. It's not everyone who travels overseas goes there and become a laborer. There are those who came here and become a good man, who study, who work so hard. If Governor Obaseki knows how you, we suffered, you go to school, come back home and work and pay your school fees, I don't think Governor Obaseki will be threatening any indigent. Or any Nigeria governor will be threatening anyone who came from diaspora. We in diaspora, we are not stupid. We are not foolish. Do not think because we are here, we don't come home. It make you to ha take advantage of our weakness. No, I am not weak. I want to call on everyone in diaspora. Brothers and sisters, Tony Kabaka have lied against me. Tony Kabaka ordered me to mention his name in the video. Tony Kabaka, I want to clear that one more time. When I spoke to Tony Kabaka, after he agreed on one million, I do not want to call my, uh, my, my, my movement members to make another donation. I single-handedly put it upon myself and think, how can I pay one million to Tony in order for him to call? All I was doing is to promote him. There was nothing bad about what I was saying. But Tony Kabaka, because of his greed, he has led him to make a rational judgment 
and conspire with the Edo State Governor, Edo State Commissioner, to plan assassination attack against me. I will never be assassinated or assassinated by anyone. I will die peacefully. I am going to live long up to 100 years and more than 100 years. I want you all to know, if anyone who is supporting them, who is behind it, I know you all. If I do not mention your name, does not mean I don't know what is happening. I am not stupid. I want you to mind your own business. Mind whatever business you are doing. Take your money away from vampire government. Withdraw yourself from vampire government. Governor Obaseki, a do state governor, administration, have become a terrorist and a vampire government. Tony Kabaka is waiting for his payment. He, he stated on his video that he has suffered for Governor Obaseki, that I do not want him to reap what he has sold. If you sow a good seed, Tony, you will reap it. If you sow a bad seed, you will reap it. It is a pity you insulted my entire family. I will never insult your family because I know they are innocent of this. I want Tony Kabaka, those that are related to Tony Kabaka, should understand this is not personal. If anyone is threatening to be assassinated, you will not sit and fold your hand. You will never be silent. You will get up as a man and fight back illegally. I repeat, fight back legally. I am fighting for the freedom of youth all over the world. All the youth in Benin City, in Nigeria, I want you all to join me. Join me and make sure all these vampire gangsters should not silence us anymore. Do not be afraid of Tony. Tony is nothing but a chicken. Tony is a chicken who had behind all his 2,000 followers. I want to let you know, the 2,000 followers is claimed. He told me he has 2,000 followers. If you know you have not involved with any, any crime with Tony, I want you to live peacefully. Do not let Tony hold you as a ransom. I know Tony. I know what he is. I look at his face on the video. A man that cry and bug on the video. That is how they behave. They are nothing but a coward. A killer who had behind a gun. Who threatened others with the fear and imposed fear with, this, with the order and shield himself with the governor of Edo State. You should be ashamed of yourself, Governor Obaseki. I have not started to insult you. If you don't want my insult, you respect yourself. Anyone that plant death on me, I will know what to tell them. So far, I have tried to respect you, but hence you refuse to respect yourself as a governor of a state. I want you to understand you are a governor of Edo State. You are not a governor of Nigeria. You are not a governor of New York City. You are not a governor of Texas. As you understand, whenever you arrive in America, you are on your own. You become a civil man like me. You walk on the street like I do. You drive like I do. People drive you like I do. If you want to know how I am, if you think this story is going to die down, I want you to call on our former president, His Excellency, Good Luck Jonathan. He knows me in Houston. He know I am not afraid to ask a question. I have been a freedom fighter for so many, many years ago. If you want to know who I am, go ahead and ask all the six Niger Delta governors who serve along with President uh, Goodluck Jonathan. They know me. You can ask your ex-governor. They know me. I have been fighting for the freedom. I do not fear anything. If you want to read about me, go back and ask your predecessor how I am. You can call on Texas, anyone in Dallas, Texas. I am not hiding any, anywhere I live. I live in Dallas, Texas. I base in Dallas, Texas. Let me tell you, if you have been in jail before Governor Obaseki, you will know that it's not good to jail an innocent. You will know it's not good to frame anyone with illegal case. I heard that you sometimes you try to frame people with robbery when they do not commit robbery. However, you have started investigating my family, Governor Obaseki. I want the whole world to know I am counting the life and the safety of my entire family on Governor Obaseki's hand and Tony Kabaka and plus the Commissioner of Edo State. I am ordering the Nigerian Police Department to provide an adequate safety procedure to protect all the family of people's freedom movement, including my own family, around the globe. I am appealing to the President of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari. I want you to call the leadership of uh, Governor Obaseki into question. He is not a man that can lead Edo State. If you cannot use Nigerian police force to enforce your law, instead, you turn around and choose on vampire gang squad, silent squad, to be silenting all your opponent, all your opposition, who speak against what you are doing, 
there your leadership should be called to question. I am appealing to Edo, Edo State House of Assembly. You are not my enemy. No one has created any problem to me. But I want you all to know, the more you silent, the more you lose your power. As you silent right now, waiting for manna to come from heaven, you might not have another opportunity like you have on my case. Governor Obaseki, no. The case against him is more than him. He have nowhere to write. He have nowhere to hide. Tony Kabaka have implicated Governor Obaseki and the Commissioner of Edo State. If I were you now, the Commissioner of Police, Edo State, I have not called for your res resignation. I want you to conduct an investigation on yourself with immediate effect and come out on the national TV, clear yourself in the NTA, clear yourself in the ITV or EBS. If you know you did not make a deal, there's what we call a deal with criminal in the United States. When you have a criminal who have committed a lot of atrocity, you will call him and tell him to be a hitman, a hit squad for you. Then when they agree on it, all ever pending case against Tony Kabaka, you all agree to let it go. That is the deal you and the governor have made. If Tony Kabaka was not a murderer, was not an assassin, why would he be crying about he's an innocent man? He's not a murderer. He's not an assassin. Criminal does not go online without talking about themselves. Like I am, I always say every day, I am clean. I have never said one day that I'm not clean. So I will let everyone to make a judgment. All my brothers in diaspora, sisters in diaspora, I want you all to join me. Whatever you are, who is a lawyer, who, who is a judge, Whatever you are, a police officer, I want you to inbox me. I want everyone to help me to investigate our governor of Edo State. Let's start the freedom movement in Edo State. Hence, Governor Obaseki has considered himself to be an example of a leader who is using a, 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 a vampire squad to be silencing everybody. Do not think this case is, is going to affect me alone. No, it will not affect me in any way. I have a very good job, as you know. Tony Kabaka, have, he authorized me to tell my view. I told Tony, I said, I'm going to call on my followers to make a donation. As soon as I get the money, I will transfer it to you. He said, okay, Domosa, exactly what he said. Then all I did for the boys of Tony Kabaka, I am not against you. What I wanted, the reason why I was going to also for the one million is for you people to have a little thing to do. I want the governor to call on all to almost 2,000 Tony Kaka boys and give issue them a check of 500,000 naira for them to start up their own business instead of you spending that money to, to Tony Kabaka and Tony Kabaka to enrich himself. Every word Tony Kabaka have gotten by committing, a, a, a committing crime here and there, he have not spread the word around. I am for the movement. I want people to have a little they can gain anywhere. My brothers and sister, I may support you. I may not know the reason why you are in jail. But whatever reason why you are in jail, if whenever you come out, I do not want you to be, I don't know what to call it, a man who does not know where he was killed. Most our Bini people, our Bini boys, most especially, some of them jump from one party to another with the greed of money. Money comes, money go. This money that we have today, we should be careful. Money can give you power. The, when the power comes, no one likes to lose power. They will go extremely length to make sure they protect their power. As money is sweet, likewise it can create problem. You see what Tony Kabaka has created for himself now. Tony Kabaka do not want to leave his, leave his power alone. How can three men in a do state will be ruling a do state? What about the rest 4 million plus? Why are anyone not speaking? That is to tell you the horror Tony Kabaka have inflicted on anyone. Tony Saddam Hussein, the self-proclaimed vampire, the blood sucker, you will never suck my blood. Rather, you will have yourself to suck yourself blood. Your boys that you have offended, who you have inflicted fear in them, because they are afraid when they leave you, you might commit anything you want to do. Let me tell you, Tony is a chicken. I repeat, Tony is a chicken. Tony is a chicken. Tony cannot do anything without having the power of the governor. Tony, I am grateful. I want to thank my viewer. I am happy. I want everyone to go to church on Sunday. 
brothers and sisters who are Muslim, I want you to go to, uh, 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 to, 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 to mosque and thank God for me. Have you ever seen anyone who plan an assassination attempt and he will come out after they plan it out with the governor and the commissioner of Edo State, he will come out and say, this is what I am going to do and this is what I have do. You know what I'm saying? So I am happy that the plan is out. Now my entire family is in the hand of the governor of Edo State and Tony Kabaka and the commissioner of police and Nigeria government as a whole. My family are in Benin, are in Abuja, are in village, are in all over the world. Anywhere in Europe, my family are in the hands of a state governor. If anything, any scratch in any way, by any way, affect any of my relatives and the member of people movement, I want you all to call me. You have my direct uh, line. Anyone who wants to join our WhatsApp, uh, uh, whatever it is, I want you to send me your number. Let me add it to it so that we can have a way to send our message faster enough anyone who feel threatening call me i will go ahead and notify the law enforcement agency and let governor Obaseki know now he has a responsibility before he has a bigger one now i want to tell all political leaders who have humbled governor Obaseki, if you do not deviate from this vampire group or excuse yourself out of this vampire killing squad do not blame me for any legal action that come upon anything you have. Some of you school in the United States. Some of you left many years ago. Some of you obtained a visa illegally by paying one way or the other. I am going to call on the United States uh, State Department to go ahead and investigate how Tony Kabaka obtained his American visa. How Tony Kabaka obtained visa for all, all his family. And their visa process will be called to question it. If you are a family of Tony and you do not want you to be involved, I want you to come out publicly and denounce Tony or speak against the atrocity Tony has planned to commit against his Edo brother. Tony is from Edo State. He's my Edo brother. I will never shy away from my attacker. I will never let it run away from my attacker. I will never let my attacker bully me. You cannot bully me. Tony, it is too small to bully. Tony, for you to connect with the state government, a do state governor, I repeat, not government, not until a do state house of assembly, say something about it. If I come out next week or tomorrow Friday, if a do state house of assembly, do not call this, call this into action and call on the commissioner of police to leave a do state, I will involve all of them because you cannot sit and watch a man, a citizen of a do state, be threatening by a man a single man who said he's going to suck his own blood not my blood in jesus name i am calling on the house of assembly leader if you do not want the law of united states to fall upon your head i am not talking of the law of nigeria i have been protected by america nothing will never happen to me i have been protected by the law good law enforcement of united states who have given me an authority if anything if i see any suspicious activity they will be there in two seconds, which I have no account of the American law enforcement agency. I want to thank the men and women in uniform in the United States. What I have learned here, I have tried to transfer it to our Nigeria or Africa as a whole. So far, the way they pay me back for a good work is for them to threaten me to assassinate me. I am calling on United States senators, my Congress, my constituency representative. I am calling on Senator John Corney. On a national Facebook televised TV. I'm calling on you to reach out to me. You have my number. You have my email. Reach out to me. I'm calling on the congressman of, of my constituency. I want you to reach out to me. Because my life is being threatened by a do state governor. This individual should not be allowed to even cross the airport of United States. This individual children or family should be expelled. We do not want a vampire family in America. America is is a peaceful country. We do not want Tony Kabaka to come here and bring and if and bring his gang or his talk, vampire talk, into the United States. I am aware he have members in Dallas, Texas. I am aware he have members in Austin, in New York. As you continue to be a member, I want you to run away from Tony. If not, you cannot face the FBI. This is not Nigeria judiciary. 
This is not Nigeria law enforcement. We are talking of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. My trust is with them. I trust the Federal investigators. I trust the Nigerian Dallas Police Department. They have done nothing but to support me. I want to thank all the law enforcement, Dallas Sheriff Department, Dallas Police Department, and all the law enforcement in the United States for the overwhelming support. I want to thank the United States Embassy for listening to me at all in Lagos. I want to thank you all. The way you all responded, I am happy so far. But however, I will still continue to call on you all. As soon as I hear any further information, I will come back online and notify the U.S. Embassy. As, I, as you know, as I'm residing in the United States, I want everyone that is afraid of politicians in Nigeria, the so-called vampire kiss squad. I don't want you to be afraid of them. You can go to any embassy in Nigeria. Whenever they threaten you, you can seek a political asylum or any asylum in the, any embassy in the world. I want you to know that you can be protected in your own country. You don't have to travel and go to Libya before you can survive. If you are being threatened by Tony or by the vampire or by Governor Obaseki and the Commissioner of Police, I am calling on you. I am fighting for the freedom of individual, student, college, polytechnic, anywhere in Nigeria. I want you to escape and run to any nearest embassy. Seek an, a protection on any embassy. Before you go to any embassy, embassy and seek a protection, make sure you have a video, a camera, and video in a record. Do not tell any Nigeria mobile police or security personnel because they will prevent you from going in. Some of them are corrupt. Go there and find a way to run into embassy. All world embassy have no right to chase you away when you are running from your life. I can make an example with Salvadorians who have, who have, who have been subject to brutality by so-called gang. They have escaped Salvador and run to United States, and run to American Embassy. Some of them are residing in a, with American protection. I want you to call on the United States, the so-called the British people, who have inflated all this pain into all Nigeria. I am not a fan of the British government. British government have created problems in all over Africa. Even as I'm facing a death threat, as I'm facing a assassin threat, I am a man who believes in his call, who whenever I believe on, I never compromise my safety or neither the safety of my movement. As a security personnel, I was trained not to fight and die on any fight. A, a good officer or a good military man is a military who fight and know when to retreat and go ahead and regroup. That is what I did exactly. I have retreated and went back and, 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 and rearmed myself with um, U.S. United States Law Enforcement Agency. Those who are happens to be a friend of uh, uh, Governor Obaseki, who are trying to help him, I understand. I share your sympathy. Governor Obaseki has committed a lot of atrocity. So far, the atrocity he committed against me, I called upon him yesterday. Governor Obaseki was aware of it. He has my number. He know how to send me a message when he arrests individual. Governor Obaseki have no, have no, does not know how to send me a message at this time. As you all know, I am an authentic comrade. I do not believe in writing. Whenever I write, I can't remember it because my brain has started my functioning since xenophobia. So I want to tell everyone who knows Governor Obaseki, the Enigis, the Edos, I want you all to call on Governor Obaseki. I am not a man anybody can silence. There are head you can key. There are head you cannot key. Thank God Almighty, I never mentioned Tony Kabaka names. But what if, if I mentioned Tony Kabaka names? Who is Tony Kabaka not to be mentioned? That is number one. As a Nigerian or a those state citizen, I have every right to call on anyone name. I do not want anyone to go on social media and be saying I call on Tony Kabaka. I did not call on Tony Kabaka. That has nothing to do. By me calling on Tony Kabaka's name does not authorize him to go ahead and plan with the Doe State Governor and the Doe State Police Commissioner in order to hide all the crime he has committed. If Tony Kabaka can come out and say he has not committed any murder or he has not ordered any killing, Tony Kabaka should come to the FBI and surrender himself. Let him come and take a polygraph test. I will subject myself to a polygraph test. I will take the same test if I have committed any crime, if I have killed anybody, if I have urged anyone to be killed. Let the Governor of a Doe State Come to the FBI office and take a polygraph. That is how I'm going to follow my rule. 
I want the governor, before I rest on this case, if we do not want this case to go further, I want him to come out and take the leadership of this issue. I am begging every Edo indigenous. I do not want this corruption to be a capital of Edo state. I do not want this movement to draw Edo state name all over the world. I am ashamed that most of our leaders in Edo state, they have remained silent. They have been calling around. They know where I live. They know where my family live. Some of them are scared. They don't know what to do. They are thinking right, left and right. They know I am waiting for me to hear one noise. That They know that I am waiting. As you all know, I know where all your families live in the United States. I will forward all your family's information to the FBI. We do not kill in America. We protect human life. If I can protect your family in the United States, so as well, I expect you to protect other children's family. There are vulnerable children that I'm fighting for. Students who have no job. Graduates who have no job. How can a do indigenous, the people that have died in Libya, let me tell you, those Nigeria that have swallowed, that the sea, the Mediterranean Sea have swallowed, mostly are Nigerians. There are more than two or three million Nigerians. But do you think the Europeans, they will turn their eye on it? No. If we were to be, America was close to us, like the Europeans are close to us, they will open their border, like they do. They will open it. They are, this is a welcoming state. But it does not mean you abuse it. But I'm going to call on the Nigerian government to go ahead and make sure and provide employment for our youth. The reason why our youth are running to Libya, mostly a those state, the previous eight-year administration, he did a very good job, but I do not know how many jobs they created. If they would have created a job, instead of giving Tony Kabaka money that is languishing, if they would have spread it around, it would have saved life. If I can save one life with my video, I am ready to do it. I want everyone to know that my life is in Tony and Governor Obaseki's hands. God Almighty is watching. My family life is in their hands. I have been called by several people. I will never take law into my own hands. Anyone who go otherwise is on his own. But so therefore, I am calling on Nigerians. I can see my brother, even though I'm in pain, my brothers and sisters have been killed in India. They have been killed in China. They have been killed in, a, uh, what they call it, Malaysia. I know Nigeria have no government. There is a government, but it's not functioning. I've shared the sympathy of President Mohamed Buhari. One man cannot do it alone. If our own police commissioner, our own police commissioner will be subject to corruption, what can he do? Buhari cannot be a president. He cannot be a police IG. He cannot be a police commissioner. He cannot be a minister of information, a minister of foreign affairs. Buhari cannot do it alone. So likewise, I'm appealing to all my followers, all the freedom fighters, to join me. This fight is not, I cannot do it alone. I want you all to join me. I am not a major in English. I am not a major in criminal. I am a major in security. I am a major in freedom fighting. As a mega comrade, I will never, never, never let you down. I have been offered a lot of things, but I do not want to say it out. So far, I have rejected every offer. I was told I'd be begged not to come online today. I refuse it because I am fighting for the people. Those who question my authenticity, do not question it. Go back and read or just go through all my videos and see how this movement started. Do not question me. Do not condemn me if you don't know me. I am using the vampire video against him. The best evidence I have against him is his video and the phone audio recorder that I have. So I want every senator. I'm going to call out this man. They call it Bruce. I don't know him. I know that you are a good man. I hope tomorrow you will not attack me because I called your name. It's only criminal that are hiding when you call their name. If Tony the vampire is not a criminal, why is he attacking me that I bring his name into a good movement? The only movement you want to associate yourself is the killing squad. So I want to let everyone know, all over Nigeria, if you belong to this vampire movement or vampire squad, I want you to please pity your mother, pity your mother and your father. You know how to raise a child is very hard. I have raised my son, who is an impeccable son today. I am proud that I'm able to do it. 
I want you to know, I will never let anything happen to my son. I know the pain when anyone loses anybody. I have lost my sister. I have lost a brother. I have lost an assistant commissioner of police recently. I know the pain. You can go to my video. You can see where I was crying. I cry. Tiger cry. Lion cry. But I cry a good cry. I do not cry a cry that a man, little as Tony, who think he can, he can bully me with his so-called governor. Governor Baseki cannot bully me not to talk of Tony Kabaka. I will never be subject to bullying in my entire life. I want everyone to stand up. Fight peacefully. Fight peacefully. Fight for your right. I want every student, every brothers and sister, mother and children, encourage your son to join this movement, peaceful movement. Take them away from this drug or gang gangster movement. Bring them to the people who will shape their lives. Let us fight together and regain our country. Our country is going down. I can never, no time I will say I will, I'm not in Nigeria. I'm a born Nigerian. Our country is going down. This is the time. If God can use me to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to make awareness to everyone, I want my brothers and sisters who are in Niger Delta, who are fighting for their freedom, I want you to drop your weapon. Protest, peacefully protest. Protest, peacefully protest. Call on your senators. Go to your house of assembly. Go to anywhere, your governor mansion. Go and make a peaceful protest. Do not think that because Tony Kabaka said he wants to assassinate me, he's going to assassinate me alone. No. I guarantee you, within 19, 10 days, you will hear a news. Tony Kabaka, I know his squad. I've heard about them. That is why I will not take that threat lightly. When you know, if you are not ready to hit, don't make any threat. In America, you don't threaten and not following it up. That is one thing. So, uh, so far, I have a lot of things, but I want to talk about. But I'm going to go ahead and let it go. As tomorrow, I will come back and I address other issues. So, to the Nigerian Minister of, of uh, Foreign Affairs, you should be ashamed of yourself. I have been calling on your name. Everywhere in the book, your name is coming up. All over Europe, Nigerian embassy have no booklet. All over Europe, they don't have a booklet to produce a passport for their own citizen. Nigerian embassy all over the world have become an embassy to grave. There's nobody there, but they are eating money. Nigerian embassy all over Europe, including Washington, D.C., they are not pr providing booklet everywhere. I want to call on President Mohamed Buhari, those that have his number. His personal number, inbox it to me. If you have the IG current number, inbox it to me. If you have a good lawyer number in Nigeria, inbox it to me. If you have a good judge number, inbox it to me. This is why our movement is so powerful. That even a do state governor is not even half of us. We are millions, 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 millions. They are all a group. If someone can call his gang 22,000, what is wrong with our youth? Why can't 4 million people come out and protest against 2,000 gang. All of them are not militant. If Tony can establish militant in Benin, militant, he call it vampire militant, why can't the law enforcement agency call them to question? Why is Tony Kabaka walking around with a gun? Why would Tony Kabaka be protected by the police? Why with a gangster, a vampire, be be will be using a police a police a police convoy. Why? Why? Who authorized Tony to have a militant? If our president or ex president can fight the militant in Niger Delta, why can't our commander in chief fight Tony Kabaka in Benin? Why? Why? There are people who are fighting for their own resources, but you can put them at jail then. But Tony Kabaka, who came out on public with the evidence, called himself a vampire, is still walking in the street of Edo State. It's a shame. It's a shame. I want to call on all Edo people in Diaspora, Nigeria in Diaspora, to join this fight. Don't leave it for me alone. If you don't leave it for me alone, I am not going to go down. I am a man who talk and do. But I want you to know, he who fight and run away, we need to fight another day. Tony might not be able to harm me, but I do not want him to harm anyone. But I will never take his threat lightly. So that is what I want to tell everyone. So I want to call on media, Edo State, ITV, uh, CNN, whatever, who have, who have closed their ear, who have closed their eye, 
You all are subject to all this corruption. The media know that the governor is giving you a 1 1 million whenever you are covering 1.5 million. If anyone think what I'm saying is lie, take a polygraph. It is simple as that. Take a lie detective test. Let's see if you are being corrupt. This is one thing I want Nigerian police department to introduce into Nigerian police. Before you hire all these bad criminals, police officers who are denting, who are tenting other good police officers. I have high rank police officers who are very close friends, who are very clean, who are not criminal. I have good military officials who are very clean, who are not criminal. Why would the Nigerian military be looking at Nigeria police, maltreating our own citizens? Why? Why would the Nigerian military be looking at police dealing with us? I am calling on the brigade commander in Fort Mekana Brigade Attila in Benin City. I am calling on you to please intervene into this issue. I understand the governor still have power over you. But I want you to take order from Abuja. Tony Kabaka will dismantle Benin in your hand. Tony Kabaka has single-handedly terrorized all the Edo's. How many dead bodies Tony is going to kill before we know that Tony is a killer? He has proclaimed himself. He said he's a vampire. He called himself a vampire. He confessed. What does vampire do? Can anyone tell me the meaning of a vampire? Is a vampire a killer or not? That is the question. Can anybody... Is a vampire a killer or not? That is the question. Huh? When you call yourself a vampire, what, what else... So, I am telling Tony Kabaka, not until you come to the media and announce and tell the truth of what we discuss. Do not cage me with somebody else who I respect. So far, I have read about him. I have read about this gentleman. I'm not going to mention your name. I know you study in Fort Worth. You know yourself. I have read about you. I have measured and researched you. I have known everything you have been doing. But I want you to know, at the age of 32 years, you have achieved everything you achieve. At the age of 40 years, you are already a mega star. Why can't you give us a chance? Why can't you join us? Why can't you join our youth and give our youth a chance? Our youth from are 30. They don't have a room. They cannot even afford to buy a cell phone. Why are all these leaders want to kill us silently? Why? I see people going on the street. They are 40 years. They cannot marry. I have a cousin who is 44 years now. He's not married. No son. Why? Whenever I ask him, he said, I cannot take care of it. Can you imagine? Why? Why do you people cling to God, Nigeria government? I am begging you to stop the corruption. Stop the oppression. Please, stop it. Corruption led to death Nigeria in all over the world. You cannot protest Nigerians. You cannot protect in Mediterranean Sea. You cannot protect in Okong. You cannot protect in India. Can you imagine? India that have two billions. I mean, more than one point something billion population. They are killing Nigerians. I have a lot of Indian friends here. They respect me. I think because they know I'm, my life is stable. I want anyone to know. I am not on social media because I want attention. I have been offered if I agree that so, so, and so things. You know what I'm talking about. I rejected it. I want you all to know I am fighting for you. The little money I have that God has given me will be enough for me and my family to survive. I don't have to work for anybody. I am a hard-working man. You know what I'm saying? So, Governor Obaseki would not be richer than me if not corruption. Tony Kabaka. I was giving Tony Kabaka a shirt that I wore. That is to tell you, I will give it to him. Ask him, why will you buy the finger that fed you, Tony? Why? Why? Why will you buy the finger? You asked me to buy you incubator, which I came here and bought it before I came back to Nigeria. I even talked to your own parents. They said, oh, you are in a new house now. And that incubator is still in Nigeria. I don't know what happened to it. If I do not want to save your life, why will you order me to help you? At the end, what you pay me with is to, is to join with the governor of Edo State and the police commissioner to kill a man who has tried to save your life, Tony. I want all Tony boys to see. I have given Tony a lot of clothes. That I left, even my shoe, even bet for it. I told him, Tony, this shoe is three hundred dollars plus. When I'm coming back, I will buy you one. Ask Tony if I'm lying. I will give Tony my jeep to ride. I will use Tony jeep and drive. Ask anyone, anyone in Ogbe, know what I'm talking about. Those are no Ogbe. I am not a bad man. 
I do not want Tony Boyce because of fear. You people go online and be criticizing me. I have have a Tony best interest. I never know that Tony is this for him to call himself a vampire. I am not a law enforcement officer in Nigeria. I cannot investigate Tony. Since Tony has called himself a vampire, I started getting deep on my investigation. I begin to find out, wow, people have been calling me. I didn't know who I was moving with. I thought I have a somebody. I will never in my life, in my, listen to me, in some Tony family, there are good people in Tony family. Every family have bad people. I want everyone to know, if you are related to Tony, a lot of them are in Dallas. I want you to stay away. I want you to stay away. Do not put your hands or put yourself into drama. American law enforcement agency are watching. Those that are in Houston, you know yourself. You have called me, try to get Tony number. I refuse to give it to you. If I do not want anything, why can't I give somebody? If I want anything, I will be sharing his number. But I still did not do it. I want you to question yourself. Be careful. Do not call me again. I have keep your name. Your name is in the book. If you ever make any comment online, you know what I'm telling you about. You will be subject to investigation in Houston, in Austin, Texas. I am warning you, those that are in New York, anyone who want to harbor or who want to assist a vampire will be subject to immediate death or arrest by the United States Law Enforcement Agency. We do not want all these criminals, all these thugs, all these corrupt leaders to be coming to America. America is a home who have adopted me. It's the best thing that have ever happened to me in my life. I will fight to protect it. Those senators, those uh, congressmen who are coming here, who have enslaved our citizens of Nigeria, who have collected money, money upon money. Let me tell you, you people, days are number. If you do not stop your corruption and provide a employment for our youth, as you continue to suppress our youth, by violence, God Almighty is watching you all. But I want to appeal to you all. The next movement we are going to be leading is a movement of no visa for corrupt leader in Nigeria. We will make sure we fight any leaders who, who, who we know that have more than four or five cars who cannot provide for the youth We never visit any Western world. You know how it is. When you are a leader, you are rich. You cannot go to Europe. You cannot go to Nigeria. That money will be useless. I want you to think about it. I am not a man. I am God sent. I told Edo State government, when I started this movement, I told Nigeria, I said, I am like a spirit to the government. If you remember, go back and play my video. I told them, you can fight a spirit, but you can never catch a spirit. So far, I have proven it to Edo State governor. Governor Obaseki, I am still telling you, like I told you when I sent you a text message, I gave you hours to give me the evidence, but you refused. I am telling you now, before you light a door house on fire, this issue, we all know what is going on already. We all know. We are aware. There is a reason why a door leaders are not speaking against what Tony is doing. There is a reason why a door indigenous, the doers and the shaker, the cartel, are not speaking against what you are doing. So do not think we are stupid. We are not stupid. I will, I will give my life if my life can solve corruption in nigeria if my life can give freedom to every man and woman in nigeria i do not want to be emotional here but however if the government of nigeria ask me come give your life let corruption stop in nigeria i will tell them to eject me or shoot me to death in one minute that is how i am passionate about the fight that i'm ready to fight but if you are not ready to give freedom to the poor I came from a poor family. I know what it takes. I know the pain of a poverty. I am warning you, Edo State Governor. You don't know how poverty look like. How dare you order our youth to be farming? Did you go to farm? Governor Obaseki? Do you know how farm is? Do you have tractor? Do you have the proper mechan me 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 mechanic equipment to, to, to perform a farm? Why are you sending them to farm? Instead of you educating them. I'm Governor Obaseki. Your, your cabinet should be ashamed of yourself. Oh. All the Governor Baseki cabinet. If you know you are a U.S. citizen, I want you to come out and speak out against this barbaric government of Governor Obaseki. We do not want Saddam Hussein in Benin City, neither in Nigeria or neither in the old Africa. We do not want it. 
even the, the Middle East, they do not want it. I am calling on Obas uh, Governor Obaseki, if you have a visa, and uh, you are planning evil with Governor Obaseki, God Almighty will cancel that your visa immediately. And once you are be arrested in the United States, and you have a criminal record, you can never, never in your life get a visa to the United States. I guarantee you that. That is what I want to tell you. Understand, I'm appealing to Governor Obaseki's wife. Look at my face. I have tears because of my brothers and sisters. How will you feel someone threatening to kill your own son? Will you be angry? If anyone threatens your own children, will you call the commissioner of police to arrest them? If yes, I want you to call your husband. Tell your husband to obey the rule and enforce the law of the land. Tell your husband not to use a vampire against other people's children. You are like a mother like my mother. My mother might not have the same power you have, but glory be to God, I have power more than your husband. That is one thing. I might not be a governor. I have more than 11 million brothers and sisters of people's freedom movement. Governor Obaseki only controlling 4 point something million or 5 million. That is to tell you the force we have in our movement. Let me tell you, I want to tell all my viewers, please, I am begging you, continue to fight. Do not give up. Don't be tired of my video. Continue to watch. You will learn a lot. The little I know, I will share it. If you are being threatened by any police, any talk, I'm telling you, run to any embassy, Canadian embassy, and save and make sure you save. Seek an asylum. Any kind of asylum in any embassy. You don't have to. If you are happy to run to the Republic, seek an asylum over there. No one can throw you away. That's all I want to say. I have a lot I got to talk, but I have to go. I want to let you all know, I love you all. I'll be waiting for Governor Obaseki respond within another 24 hours. By tomorrow, I will be online. I want all the media to continue to make sure if they want to silence, let them silence. But if they want to be, be with us, fine. All those youth in Edo State who have remained silent, either you are with us or you are against us. If you are not with the vampire, join our movement. If you, are not the, if you are not in the elite Tony Kabaka vampire blood sucking gang, join us. Except if you are with them, live for you. We don't want violence in our midst. So I love everyone. God bless you. All. Thank you. And God bless America. God bless the whole world. But those countries who are killing innocent people, I'm appealing to Indian government. I'm appealing to Asia government. Wherever they are, Europe, please stop the killing. Stop the killing. If you can protect your own child, why are you killing others? Why? Why? Stop the killing. Those brothers and sisters in America, I want you all to join me. Let's join this movement. Let us walk to Washington, D.C. and bring awareness to this Nigeria corruption, African corruption. Nigeria cannot protect Nigeria in the Mediterranean Sea. Nigeria government cannot protect Nigeria in South Africa. Nigeria government cannot protect Nigeria in India. Nigeria government cannot protect in Nigeria in China. Nigeria government cannot protect in Nigeria in a those state. They cannot protect in Nigeria in Delta state. They cannot protect in Nigeria in Abia state. Where can Nigeria government protect? All they know how to do is to fly left and right, left and right. All those guests that the subject they be using. Let me tell you, you are part of the corrupt people, you are intoxicating them. The more money you ask them, the more they kill us. I want you all to stay away from this old... I want you all to...